We have on the screen a pipe flow expert model depicting the classic three reservoirs problem in which we have two feeder reservoirs connecting to a common point that's lower than both of them and then from this common point there is a pipe to a third tank of lower elevation and the problem is to calculate the flows in each of the pipes. Pipe flow expert will calculate the flow in each pipe such that there is a balanced pressure at the pipe junction which is node 4 in our diagram. The flows must add up so that the total inflow to the connecting node is equal to the total outflow from the node. Also the friction losses in each pipe must work out so as to provide a balanced pressure condition at each point. Let's take a look at the system that's been modelled. We have pipe 1 and it has a length of 6,000 feet, internal diameter of 12 inches and the roughness which corresponds to the material that it's made of and if we click the material button we can see that it's cast iron. We also have pipe 2 and its properties are length of 1500 feet, internal diameter of 10 inches and it's also cast iron. And pipe 3 is 3,000 feet long with a 12 inch internal diameter. Again it's made of the same material, cast iron. We could change this material for each of the pipes to anything that's in the pipe flow database. Alternatively we do have the option to add our own material and specify a roughness for it uh, and, and a pipe size um, but we'll, we'll stick with what we have already. Each of the tanks also have associated uh, properties uh, for surface pressure, liquid level and tank elevation which is the elevation of the point from which the fluid exits the tank. So we can see for reservoir A it's open to atmosphere which is zero PSI gauge for the surface pressure. The liquid level inside the reservoir is 20 feet and the elevation is 300 feet. Reservoir B is also open to atmosphere with a liquid level of 40 feet and an elevation of 200 feet. Reservoir C again open to atmosphere with 60 feet liquid level and the tank or reservoir elevation is 100 feet. And finally, the connecting node is at an elevation of 180 feet. For this model we have defined the fluid as water at atmospheric pressure and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We can change that fluid if we like to any of the fluids in the Pipe for Expert database or we could define our own fluid with specific density and viscosity values and use that. But for now we're going to stick with water. Calculate the system. We have a, a results log that is shown which summarizes the calculations that have been performed. Any warnings will appear in here and any comments on the system that Parkflow Expert has found. We also then have the option to view the results in either a results sheet or results drawing. So if we click on the results sheet we can see in a tabulated format for each pipe the various parameters associated, some of which we have defined ourselves, such as pipe material, diameter, roughness, etc. In addition are the parameters that Pipe Flow Expert has calculated, such as mass flow and volumetric flow, velocity, elevation data for the pipes, pressure data. Reynolds number and the various friction and fitting losses as appropriate. In our case we don't have fittings and components specified but we do have friction loss in the pipes. We can also go into the results drawing and by hovering the mouse over each of the pipes we can see the same data that we just saw in, in the spreadsheet. Similarly we can hover over the node and see the pressure data. 
which is the pressure that has been calculated at that node.